Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. I can't believe we're finally at World 6. This walkthrough's been going just so fast. It's taking, I mean, it's going a lot faster than I ever thought it would. Anyway, as you can see, there's the spike ball guys. They somehow pull spike balls out of their mouth and throw them at you, and they have an unlimited supply. Where do they fit all them? Are they like bad kidney stones or something like that? I don't know, but they're certainly very sharp and very dangerous, and you have to avoid them. You can also just kill them by jumping on top of them, but yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to bother doing that, because it's just more out of the way than it's worth, you know? And oh, oh, don't worry ever about falling off these ledges, I'm just overacting here. But then again, I usually do that anyway. Uh, basically, you can't really drop off those things easily. <laughs> So there's, ah, there's really no worry about that happening. Um, it, this is a new type of bullet build cannon. It rotates and shoots when you're not near it, just like a normal bullet build cannon. Um, that's really all there is to it, but I would really like to see what the poop's in these boxes here. Uh, just a bunch of coins for that one. I probably shouldn't have dropped off that uh, uh, block next to it, you know, the one that was... Uh, right underneath here, but I could just do it that way. Okay, there's no nothing good there. I just wanted to make sure that I didn't miss anything. Anyway, let's see what's up here, because I noticed that there's a bunch of a coin trail there, but that was completely useless, actually. Ooh, but I do see a star coin! Oh, um, I forgot to mention, someone told me that, um, the reason why Mario loses his hat is because... Uh, he's at 99 lives. That's like a little Easter egg the game designers put in there. I could use a bullet. Bullet, please. Thank you. Now I'm gonna go over here and use it to get up by, uh, El Duce there. And, or at least hopefully get up there. I got... Yeah! Oh, well, I made it up there. That was pretty good. So, that's coin number one. So... What?! I pressed up on the blocks! And we're back over here, and this time, yes, I decided to take it easy and cling right to it. I swear I pressed up next to it. It didn't work for me, and then I died. Well, you know, I just didn't want to lose, you know, the few lives that I had right now. You know, I don't want it to get too low. That's why I got a little bit worried about that. Anyway, careful. I was kind of dangerous, and I would like to plop off here, there we go, and now I've got a checkpoint that I don't have to worry about dying so easily and having to recollect that first annoying coin. Well, I guess that first coin wasn't that bad. The second coin is ridiculous. Ow, I was, I was just going to say ridiculously easy, and then I get a bullet in my face. <sighs> Isn't that just how things always go in games? Anyway, what's up this pipe? It looks like we got a bonus town here. I bet you I have to hit the switch. E. I bet you I have to throw these blocks at the coins. Well, maybe. Yeah, I thought so. And what? Come on, man! Well, that was an awesome bonus. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what they wanted you to do, so you could get all the coins in time. But I failed! Yay! That's okay. Man, this is like the easiest red coin one yet. <laughs> and there we go. Not that I needed the power up, but still. And, and you'll notice that there's that bottom cannon there. That one's kind of dangerous. Because, you know, when you're hanging off the ledge, you have to jump up to get it. And yeah, you get the idea. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> uh, I, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that you need one of these bullets to get up to a coin later on, so I want to try and preserve some of these bullets if I can, because I'm, I'm almost positive I need one, or at least a high one, to get up to wherever I need to get up to, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Yeah, that's it. Right up. What? Um, hmm. Yeah, I need to get up there for the third coin. Um... I'm not going to die if I go back, because this isn't very hard to get through, so might as well try and attempt to get a bullet across there again. So uh, you guys can uh, keep throwing your spike balls, and I'll... I was going to I was gonna say destroy them, I was, but it's actually dodging them. Okay, I'm going to try and race ahead of that bullet this time to get further ahead, 
and hopefully get more time to get uh, jump on top of it, and that should do it. Jump, and wait, is that too high? I hope not. Oh! How the heck do I get up there? Is there? I bet you there's like hidden coin blocks around here or something. No? Well, I could get up there with a propeller mushroom. That would be easy. Ah. I think what they want me to do is use that middle bullet to get up there and like do some wall kicks. Yeah, there we go. There is the third coin. You can get that middle bullet there from that same can that that higher bullet came from. And that's the level. That took longer than expected. The, the camera's at seven minutes. <laughs> it's gonna be less with cuts, but still, that was a lot longer than expected. And it'll split off here, no secret exit to worry about. Uh, but I'm gonna go right over to the left one, which is 6 2. Wish me luck. I'm pretty sure this is the dark one. Unless I'm thinking of a later one, which is like 6 5 or something like that. I don't really remember. I'll definitely remember it when I see it later. But I, I'll see when I get down here. No, this wasn't the one, but it is a classic cave one with some roly-poly flooring. How the heck does this even work anyway? Is this like floating in the water and rotating like an iceberg or something? How does this work? How? Anyway, these drop off from the ceiling and try to kill you. They're kind of like uh, buzzy beetles in the uh, Super Mario Brothers 3 when they plopped off and dropped on your head. Uh, you can lead them to destroy blocks. Or themselves, like that. Um, what's, in here? what's in there? I'll, oh, I'll, I'll check those after I get up here first, and then... Nothing! Well, that was wonderful. <laughs> um, let's just see what's in these boxes for the heck of it. I hope I'm not missing a pipe on one of these roly-poly things, because I swear, they always like to hide things on those things, and you get the idea. I see a star coin. Oh yes, you can't fool me. I need I need your assistance. Oh, pfft. go slower up. Go slower up this uh, roly-poly thing. Jesus Christ! And grabby. And throwy. Yay! And I think it would be in my best interest if I despawn that thing. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is go off screen to make it disappear. And then, you know, go back up over there. And then I can go into here safely. Yay! Justin is playing smart! Instead of, you know, brushing it like I usually do. Wait, is there a power up in here? I go! There's, I mean, another one there. Well, that's okay. I, I made it unscathed somehow. Ooh, I see another secret! Blink! I see that, Johnson. And four coins? That was not worth it. Uh, if I go down there, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Uh, unless there's invisible blocks there, which there probably is, because I definitely have to hit that from the underside. But I'm not going to... Oh, I have to use the shell to get that. I get it now. That probably would be death if I went down there. I'm not gonna try that. I don't dare try that. <laughs> um, how do I get up there? Can I, like... Well, I would like to kill... Prana plant, if possible. Hey, you're not allowed to go over gaps. Wait, you can kill that one for me. That's actually pretty nice of you. And kill those for me, too. Uh, oh, I see what I need to do. Get uh, the swoopers there to give me a helping hand. Go up higher. There we go. That should be fine. And hopefully I'll be able to use its head to... Boink! Yeah, there we go. That's coin number two. Good thing for the zoo bats in this cave, I have to say. Normally I would be very unhappy to see wild zoo bats, but in this case I am. Well, except for that one that, that bit me a little bit, but that's okay. The other one was my uh, helping hand. And can I go in here? No. And... Is this going to be an obstacle course? It is! Yeah. Am I going to make it? Am I going to make it? Yeah, that wasn't that hard. I was just being overly dramatic. And let's see... This time I'm not going to break all the bottom blocks before I get to the top blocks. You know, that I can't reach it like before in the last level. That was dumb of me. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, oh, power block. Will this contain... Oh, Sumo Brothers. No! Will this contain the last star coin? I hope so. There's a bunch of coins. That's pretty nice. But I don't think that's... Well, where the poop is the last star coin? 
I know it didn't fall, like, from off to that side, because the power blocks have a pretty large range, and I'm pretty sure that pipe leads outside. Huh, well, I guess I'm gonna just have to move on and come back to this stage, I suppose. Hmm. Well, let's... Well, maybe it's in this out, outside area? Like, somewhere? I don't know. I doubt it, though. Probably missing something, and yeah, I am. Looks like I'll be back. <sighs> I will see you when I found the, uh, the last star coin in the level. Alright, well, here's the second star coin. So, that means it's... The third one is either between this star coin and the exit. As I said, the star coins indicate, you know, on that little uh, collection thingy at the upper left corner there, they indicate the order, ow, that uh, you can collect the coins in. Oh, wait, 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 I bet you there's something on one of these things. And, oh, look at all these lives! Dear Lord! But anyway, I bet you there's something on one of these, ow, these turny wheel thingies, these ground that are floating. Yeah, that, that was great English there. So, let's just wait ar around here, you know, between both of these and see if something will turn out. Because as, as you see, th that other one seems to be encouraging you for staying on there and collecting the coins. There it is! You sneaky snake! Sneaky snake! Oh, this is going to be a problem, isn't it? I, I would like them to be like that, so they don't just, like, plop on my head as I hit that switch, and there we go! Woo! And you guys go into the water, and I'll just leave here safely. That works for me greatly. And where does this lead? Over here? Uh, might as well get the power and just leave the stage. And yeah! <laughs> That, that always gives me the willies. Whenever there's like a, a spinning enemy... Oh, I just barely got that one. Like, you know, because they're one square wide and they're moving really quickly and it's just kind of hard to get used to jumping on them. And I'm going to leave you guys... I'm going to keep you guys alive this time. And I'm going to escape! Woo! I forgot the track that there was something like over here when the last time I was here. No? No, oh, okay. And that's that level. I think I'm gonna do one more and then end off this part. Stop tipping your invisible hat, Mario! You don't have a hat! <sighs> I shouldn't question the game's logic, though. So, let's just go over to 6-3 and continue. Whee! <sighs> just can't believe Mario with that invisible hat. Okay, which pipe do I want to go in? I guess it's this one. So, ooh, we got ourselves a pipe maze here, Boop. and this raises the water level. I have I mean, I only played this stage once. I'm pretty sure I collected all the star coins on my very first run through the stage. So, uh, this is gonna be fun, since I barely even remember it. This reminds me of a stage in the DS version, which it's probably based off of. But uh, I like the detail in the stage. You can see like the pipe fitting here and underground and stuff like that. It's very nice. I, I like that a lot. And, uh, ooh, that's gonna be a problem, isn't it? One, two, yeah, ooh, ooh, yeah! And look at that, the prana plants are in little muddy pots. That's adorable. <laughs> um, I probably don't wanna, ooh, I do wanna go down here. Okay, boop! And, can I kill, uh... Mr. Giant Size over here from Giant Land. I can with a bunch of fireballs, so that works for me. And I can also get up here nicely. Yeah. Well, no wonder I didn't have to come back here. The star coins are ridiculously easy to collect. And we got that critter. It's gonna fall. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. I couldn't rush underneath it. Well, there's a checkpoint. And another power up. I could use that. You two fall and kind of give me a combo attack there. There we go, and I'll just run them for you. And why did I try rushing that again? What's wrong with me? Okay, what's up here? Those those blocks up there seem very suspicious. E. You know what? I'm not gonna check that. <laughs> there's there's probably like a vine or something that I had something to kill. Giant like El giant this guy there. Yeah, <laughs> I, I said giantess and. And then I said guy, and giantess is more like a girl. You get what I mean. Anyway, boop. let's see what I have to race this time. 
If I go past that Prana Plant over there... No, I can't go past that Prana Plant. I have to go up, I have to go up, I have to go up! Um... So what is over here? Is there gonna be something? Something that I could use? A secret, perhaps? Uh, because I missed a coin somewhere in there. Maybe it's one of these pipes that will transport me somewhere else? Somewhere into an alternate dimension? No, so I guess I have to revisit the level. Uh, I'll be right back then. <laughs> Okay, so we're back over here. This is the spot that I suspected that there was something before. So that's what I'm gonna check. Uh, can I go all the way up here? There is something up here, okay. Ah, uh, yes. The mysterious missing star coin is now mine. So I guess I can just leave this level then. <laughs> And it was definitely much easier to kill off that piranha plan before I tried destroying some blocks, obviously. E! And I'm just gonna kill you off there, just to clear the way happily. And... Uh, oh, I need to hit that switch, that's right. <laughs> There's certainly a lot of angry, hungry piranha plants down here, I have to say. Then again, they do have, seem to love living in sewers and inside pipes and stuff like that, so... I guess it's not exactly illogical, or at least not in the Mario series, but how do they grow when there's no dirt? Or maybe there is dirt in the, uh, uh, pipes or something like that, but that couldn't be because you can go down some pipes that piranha plants reside. Maybe their vines are ultra-long. I don't know, but that's it for this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.